As much as I hate that Seth got hurt, there may be a silver lining to this cloud. It may be just what is needed to get these two expelled, or at least sent somewhere else. Okay, Justin, I mean, what, uh, what, what exactly do we say? Well, I mean, all we can do is lay it out for them and hope they agree to having them sent elsewhere. Uh, I mean, just, what if they don't get moved to another school? Then what do we do? Well, it was their first day here and they had already picked a fight. If anything, a few more situations like this and, well, they won't be able to ignore this. Well, hopefully this situation will be enough and we won't have to have anyone else hurt like Seth got hurt. I don't know, dude. What, what was that, Miss Crow? All right, you two. Vice Principal Fisher will see you now. Principal Ethan is busy with the new cult brothers, but he will be available shortly. Okay, so thanks, Miss Crow. It's my job. Don't mention it. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I was just taught to be polite. I was joking, Bert. Now get out of here. Oh, okay. Sorry, Miss Crow. All right, come on, Justin. We gotta go to your dad's office. Okay, shut that door behind me. Okay, um, hello, Coach Fisher. All right, what can I do for you, Mr. Burt? And son. Well, um, ha have you heard about what happened to Seth earlier today? I have not yet heard the full story, no. Well, um, the new brothers, the, the Culps from White Wind, well, they beat him up after uh, they called Anne his girlfriend fat. Well... All I know as of now is what you've just told me. Principal Ethan is talking with the two right now. Afterwards, we can all go over and figure out this whole thing. All right, that sounds good. So, these two boys are from White Wren, right? Yeah, yes, sir. John and I went there as well when they attended. Well, tell me a bit about the boys, seeing that you probably know the most. Well, um, the Culps, uh, uh, simply put, bullies. Um, they not only bullied myself, but they bullied John as well. There's nothing else really to say about them. They're just mean kids. Well, it seems that Principal Ethan is done talking through them. I just got buzzed. Let's get ourselves over to his office, and I'm going to go grab John from class real quick. All right. Yes, sir, that sounds... Sounds like a good idea. Uh, okay, so, um, w w what do you think about the Culps, uh, Principal Ethan? I think of them the same I did when you came here, Mr. Burt. A troublemaker. Or, well, in their case, troublemakers. But I gave them a chance as I did you. Well, um, s sir, to... To be fair, I, I wasn't the troublemaker. It was, it was Justin, but that's beside the point. Either way, the boys are being watched for further misconduct. Sir, I mean, did you see what they did to Seth? I very much did. Seth got a good throw in on Mikey as well. But Seth was... I mean, he was just defending his girlfriend, and... I mean, you don't call another guy's girlfriend fat in front of him. You just don't do it anyway, even if it's not in front of him. Still doesn't excuse his violence, Mr. Burt. For now on, the two are on watch, and Seth has gone home for the day. Principal Ethan, I know these two well, so, so does John. They're going to end up hurting someone, and not just a little bit like they did Seth. They're going to hurt someone bad. That's the end of the subject, Mr. Burt. Now get to class, the lot of you. Principal Ethan, sir, please. 
Mr. Burt, I know I made myself clear. Now get to class. Uh, yes, sir. Come on, guys. Thank you, Coach Fisher. Oh, man. This is not good. <laughs> All right. Let's get to lunch. I'm, oh, I'm pretty hungry. Man. I'm hating this whole situation with Josh and Mikey. I mean, it's ridiculous. Right, there's Sarah. God, there's Josh and Mikey. It's ridiculous. I mean, Sarah, one person is bad enough. Now somebody else has to get hurt. For me to prove to the principal that those two are no good. I mean, just look at them. Oh, this is ridiculous. I really hate it, Joshy. I do. April was telling me John hasn't been himself since they joined. John was telling April, or are the two of them dating? She said she likes him, so we'll see. Well, good for them. But John has a lot of history with those two. I saved his butt a few times as well. So what can you do? Well, Sarah, honestly, there's nothing I can do. I just have to wait to say I told you so to Principal Ethan. That's scary. I mean, who who do you think will be the next victim? That's the scary part, Sarah. It could be anyone. 